Back live at Olsen Field at Blue Bell Park. Pre-game show rolls on as we're getting set for game one between Texas A&M and Rhode Island. All over the strike zone here early. Line drive off the bat of Braden Montgomery hooking towards that left center gap. It's going to hit and roll to the wall. Grahovic around second, headed towards third. He's going to get the go ahead. Grahovic coming to the plate, the throw not in time, and it's an RBI double off the bat of Braden Montgomery, and the Aggies lead one to nothing. RBI number 24 for the SEC's RBI leader. 2-2. Got it. Looking for Fifth punch out of the night for Ryan Prager through two. The sophomore from Dallas is pumping strikes. The Aggies lead one to nothing as Prager paints another fastball in the outside corner. His official partner of Texas State and Athletics. You know, one line drive. Fair. Down the left field line, off the glove of the third baseman. Chestnut's going to score with these. Rehovic's going to go to second, and it's an RBI double for the freshman. Two to nothing, Texas State and M. Ball was sizzled, 107 miles an hour off the bat. Back-to-back two-out doubles for the Aggies, and that's why you push it with two outs by Travis Chestnut, because a and up two to nothing. Pitch, bloop job off the bat, a shot. That's going to fall. Grahovic's in. Lavalette will score, and it's four to nothing. Aggies on an RBI single off the bat, a Hayden shot. Hayden took it with where it was pitched, blooped it in. Before you know it, he's crossing the plate. 3-1, high fly ball off the bat of Grahovac. Watch out, scoreboard, it's gone. Two run, home run off the bat of Grahovac. And the Aggies lead this one 7-0. Adios baseball, that got out of here in a hurry. 106 miles an hour, 400 feet from the super talented freshman out of Orange, California. His third of what should be an illustrious Aggie career. That spot, so he took off. Second stolen base of the year for Burton. Line drive off the bat of Barr. That's going to play another as Hank Bard shoots the gap. Burton in to score. The Aggies lead this one eight to nothing. We saw that week one against McNeese, the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him with another breaking ball. Tenth strike out of the night for Ryan Prager. That matches his career high against Wagner two weeks ago. And the sophomore southpaw is dealing, folks. Five shutout frames from Prager. Aggies lead this one eight to nothing. Ryan looking from shoot, 2-2. Two, two. Line drive off the bat of Lavalette, hooking towards the left. Levin back. Off the wall. scoreboard again, it's a solo blast. Line drive shot off the bat of Jace Lavalette. I'm not sure how it got out of here, but the launch angle at 20 degrees, exit velo at 107. It's a solo shot for Jace, his seventh of the year. Nine nothing, Texas A&M. How did he do it, Bonnie? Well, they're growing up as a prospect. 2-2 two -two for Prager, got him swinging. Another fastball at 91, blows it past Peron, and Prager now up to 11 strikeouts. That is a career high for Ryan Prager with 11 punch outs tonight as he exits here in the six. Aggies. Omaha. One, two, line drive off the bat of Jack Bell, hooking down the right field line. It'll fall all the way to the wall. Here comes Caden Kent. He'll score with ease. Jack Bell gears down to second, and he's got a double. It has been a two bag kind of night for this. A&M offense, Jack Bell with a pinch hit, RBI double, and it's now 10-0 A&M. Prager's got to work back for a full count here, and stretch the pitch. There, strike three, right down Texas Avenue. First career strikeout as an Aggie for Eldridge Armstrong, one down here in the ninth. Good's going to get left home. There's going to be pro players left home. Uh, there is, this is the limited spots. There's a ground ball to the left side. Nice Jack play. Bell cuts in front of Caden Kidd, throws on the run for out number three, and just like that, Texas A&M picks up their fifth shutout of the year. Behind seven innings of great work from Ryan Prager, Brett Antolik, and Eldridge Armstrong work clean innings. And the Aggies move to 14-0 on the season with an 11-0 win on Friday night over the Rhode Island Rams.